Okay, so I'm just about to start writing something with Selenium for a client and it will be then in Windows because that's what he uses and I've just started writing it and I realized that I don't have Selenium WebDriver in or Selenium even on my machine. So without further ado, let's just try and install that. So um, let me just try, I think, yeah, so on Windows, I don't need Python 3, I just type Python, that's nice. So um, let's just go for that and see what happens. So far, so good. This is the easy bit. You're using pip version 3, okay. <laughs> right. Just going to move that out of the way, test this again. Hey, Windows Defender has blocked some features of Python. And it's actually got the things the wrong way around. It should you, sh you want to allow it over private networks and then public networks. Why? Anyway, there we go. And as you can see, what error have we got? Gecko driver, which is what I thought we would get. So next, so we've done the Selenium install. Let's just do the, um, the Gecko driver. So I think uh, we're going to be looking at Chrome. So, what is Gecko Driver? I hear you all ask. <clears throat> Probably not if you've ever come across Selenium before, but I just thought I'd cover everything here. So, um, well, let's download version 0.29. And then the next thing we need to do is extract it and put it in the right directory. So Okay, so you can put it anywhere. Put it in your projects folder or create a folder and put a driver into it and change the path. Oh yeah, I remember now. Right, so let's just put it in the path where I'm saving this. So if we do open file, uh, I can just paste it in there. Right, let's try it now. And something is happening. And there we go, uh, it's on my other screen. This is what you get. And how do I know that this is... <laughs> I had so many windows open on um, on my PC, I was hunting around. I didn't actually know that this is what um, Selenium had opened. But the reason I can tell is if you look here, I don't think I'm going to zoom in on that. No, I agree. Um, you see the grey and dark grey diagonal stripes here? So, that means the little robot there tells you that uh, it's been opened with, with your web driver. So, I'm using Firefox and... Hmm. Really, I think we want to be using Chrome Driver. Chrome. Chrome Driver for Windows. Sixty-four. And if you're using blah blah blah.
Okay, so we need to know which version of Chrome we're using. So if I just uh, drag this over here and about. So if you can see that, so I'm using version So what did I do there? I um, opened an incognito window and then I went to help and about Chrome. Why did I use an incognito window? <laughs> um, I just didn't want everyone to see what I'm currently working on. So 88.04324. So that is the one we need. Let's download that. And thirty two. Okay, Windows is thirty two bit by the look of it. Save open containing folder and let's do the same again. Again, extract here. And there we go, chromedriver.exe. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back here. Open file. I'm just going to paste that into here. And now I'm going to just change that to, instead of web driver Firefox, I think it's just Chrome. No, it's Chrome driver, isn't it? I can't remember. <laughs> well, it's obviously not Chrome driver. Is it Chrome? Can't remember. Is it Chrome with a capital C? Yes, it was. And there you go. It opened across on my other screen. I've got two screens running here, so um, I'm not cheating. That did actually come up. And um, hmm. I've not got the... Um, I'm just going to run that. Well, let's just run this again. Yeah, and it's done it again. Um, it's no longer showing... Um, in Firefox, it shows the diagonal grey and black stripes, diagonal stripes in the address bar, but here it's not, so not a problem. It works anyway. So um, instead of... Um, I'm just going to do another website. So let's just, just to prove it's not uh, cached or anything. Let's just... Apologies. I hit enter too many times or stuff still in there. Let's just do that. And control B. And there we go. Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. Can you see that? And automated toast test software is Selenium which is what we have here. So these are the three lines. So pip install Selenium, import WebDriver. Now the WebDriver can be either Chrome or um, Firefox. And um, yeah, then you just put the site you want to visit and then we will get into the next bit, which will be entering, um, entering some search information in a box in an input box and uh, clicking submit and then we will go and retrieve the result so um that'll be part two <laughs> frozen me right okay um what i've done is i've imported um uh, select from selenium webdriver dot common keys import keys that's so that i can just use send keys to return uh once i've got the text in my search field on wikipedia so um let's um 
let's uh, look at what we would have done um, manually. So just drag this across. So if we'd been doing this manually, I would have gone Wikipedia and then clicked on that. And then I would have clicked here and I would have typed moon. And you see it offers some other suggestions. And then I would have either clicked on there with the mouse or you can just press enter. And there we go. Right, so let's run it as a script. So if we run through what I've done, I've added time as well just to put a pause in so that uh, we can see the screen for 10 seconds before it closes. You always need to do driver.close at the end. Um, driver equals webdriver.chrome. That's what we installed earlier. Web URL is the URL of the page that we want to visit. Element, so element is an object which represents what Selenium gets for us, so what the driver gets. So find element by ID and uh, yeah. So in, um, in, let's just drag this back across so you can see it. So in Wikipedia, We just needed to get um, let's just get the main search Wikipedia.org. Oh, I've got the English version there, I think. Right, let's just um let's just paste that in. Right, this is the page we want to get to. And yeah, if we right click over this, inspect, and we want, we're looking for the one that we found is called search input. So I don't know if let's make this bit bigger. Hopefully, you can see this. And just below where where I've highlighted in blue, we've got input ID equals search input. So search input is the ID. We've got div ID, and then we've got input ID. So search input is what we want. It's the, because we're doing find element by ID. See here, by ID. There's other ways you can do by class and by XPath and so on, but here we, we just want to use ID. So the ID, let me see, ID equals search input. And um, yeah, there we go, let's just close that. And um, element clear, that just that clears the search input box, just in case there was anything auto filled there already. At send keys, we're just going to type in moon, that's what a human would type, and then keys.return time.sleep and then driver.close. So let's just run that and that will wrap this up. And you can also modify the size of the page when it loads. You could put 1920 by 1080 and various other things. And um, yeah, there we go. So yeah, good, thank you. Thank you for watching. And that will be, yeah, time.sleep time 10, it's closed. Okay, so the next part will be reading some text from a text file and entering those here instead of moon, we'll be searching for some other phrases and then we will be getting the results and we will be putting the results into a CSV. So th that's it for now. This is part one and um, yeah, first thing to do is import, sorry, install your web driver so selenium pip install selenium and then the web driver is the bit where you have to go and download it to match your browser version 88.0.4324 at the moment 
and then you can either put it in the same directory as your project or you can put it in your system folder somewhere and then you can add it to your path um that's beyond what i want to cover here there's no reason why you can't just leave it in your project directory good right thanks for watching and see you next time